This game is a game I like to call Gravity. You deal them out in a 5x5 grid, and it takes a lot of space, so you should be playing alone anyway, since it is a solitaire game. And you deal with cards that are in close proximity to each other, they're within one step away from each other. This is your planet in the middle card, so you got to keep track of that one. And this is called your moon, the deck of cards that are left after you deal them out. You flip over the top one, this is going to be your next one in play. So you probably want to situate it so that you can play this one next and where you want to play it. Now, that kind of goes on the rules about what can play on what. Now, if it's the same card, fours and fours, you can play them either diagonally. Remember, they have to be right next to each other. You can play them either diagonally or straight, like these eights. These eights, you can play them one here, one here, one here. And it plays in either, either way, as long as they're in close proximity. Now, if they're one rank away from each other, you can play them on each other if they're opposite colors. So, uh, if they're red and black, you can play them on each other straight. You can't play them diagonally. These two cannot play on each other. Just straight. Now, if they're of the same suit, you can play them diagonally. This six of club, you can play on this seven of club. Here's a ten and a nine of hearts. You can play them diagonally. One on top of the other. doesn't matter which way it goes. If they're the same color and opposite suits, they're the worst for each other because they can't play on each other. Such as this seven of club and this eight of spade. It doesn't matter how close they get to each other, they can't play on each other. So you try to get like this, either this eight over here so that the seven can play on it or vice versa or you know try to get them so that they can play on each other. And the whole name of the game is to get one pile in the middle. So let's see how each play goes. And the rounds take three moves. First you have, well, three parts to it. First you have the move. You can play this queen on this king, or this king on this queen, because they're within one rank of each other, and they're opposite color, they can only play straight. I can't play these two on each other at any time. So I, I probably don't want to do this, because then I bury this king, and these two won't, won't be able to play on each other. So let's play it like this. And then the next move is a collapse, and you collapse toward the center. Now you can collapse either this one, this one, or this one. And collapsing is straight. You can't come across with these in the diagonal. So I have to come straight here, come straight here, and come straight here. And then you put the top of the moon in the corner. So like the next one, let's say I want to take this 9 and bury this 10. And then I could collapse this. I can't collapse anything else because nothing else is on the outside. Remember, we're collapsing toward the, the planet here. So the two comes down. And any cards that end up in the bottom, oh yeah, you can flip over the top and see what the next one is. Let's say we collapse one of these eights to get the five here. Let's take this king and move him here. What's my next card? Six. So let's move the six here. And we can put the six here. So we got these fours here. Now I can collapse the tens either way, it doesn't matter. Now, so basically, you move, you collapse, then you play the card in the corner. Next card. We got a three of hearts. Let's uh, get the hearts together. And I'm going to have to try to collapse so that these two end up in sideways. So if I collapse, I would collapse the three here so that these two are across from each other. So let's play this seven here. Maybe collapse this king. And we got these sixes next to each other. So you kind of just keep playing like this. And you, you keep collapsing them and playing in the corner. There's a king. Let's try to play it over here. Let's, I'm going to do this. Maybe collapse this, collapse this. So the, the trick of collapsing is you're collapsing toward the planet here, the center card. So you're always going to, and, and you can't really collapse uh, like out like this and then across. No, it has to go straight into the middle. So these will always collapse this way. These will always collapse these this way and these will collapse either way. So pretty much these arms out here, these will always collapse this way. And the rest of them will collapse toward the middle card. Screw myself up even more by doing this. I don't like the hearts too much over here, so let's go ahead and Collapse this way. Can't. P 
people who count cards probably can play this game really, really, really easy. Ow. Okay, now we're down to the last card. Uh, so now you're at the end game. You got no more moon. Now you want to try to get your planet down to one solid mass. We'll collapse it down. Get this queen. Now remember, everything collapses down. So uh, you, you might have a lopsided world in a little bit, but it's okay as long as this remains where it is. And you, that's where you got. This is where you got to keep track of where the planet is because that's where everything revolves around. This has the most. This is where your gravity is coming from. Everything else is just debris. So let's collapse like, oh, let's collapse like this. Collapse like this. And I'm just going to continue on in this pattern because I can. Now, you always collapse toward the arms and down in, in some way. And so you might end up with a quadrant that's completely empty and the rest of them are still full, that's fine. As long as you keep track of your planet. And let's go ahead and just pull these jack. And do I need collapsing? No. Okay, now I need collapsing. So let's pull in, yeah, let's pull in these tens. And it looks kind of lopsided, but it's, it's okay right now. So, Remember, I'm still collapsing toward this planet here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do something like this. Okay. So far, so good. I'm gonna collapse here. Uh oh, sorry. That plant. That this one's buried. So, and then I've got this. So I can I can see the nines can play across. I still got this eight here. So. That's not going to be good. Got the seven over here, seven over here, nine here. Collapse these down. I can't play this into the center or I'm going to be locked. So I have to play it out of the center over to here. Maybe I can do that for now. I need this five a little closer also. Now I got this three way out here and I basically just screwed myself it looks like. So, hmm, do I have another five? No, I don't. So, let's bury the ace, because we're not going to need that. Okay, let's bury this two. Now, you got to watch for collapsing, because and here's our planet. you got to watch for collapsing, because you can end up screwing up the move that you had planned. Oh, I still got this three over here. Eesh. This is not going to be good. So, if I collapse here... Put this four out and figure out how we're going to collapse this. Let's do, let's do something like this. So it looks like I probably screwed myself. I'm not going to be able to get one pile it looks like. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. But from what I can tell, I'm probably going to end up with two piles. Maybe if I could bury this, I can't bury the six. I bury the six, I'm still going to end up with at least two piles. I'm just going to have to suck it up. Okay, so let's do this. So I, I know I'm going to end up with two piles, so I might as well go ahead and suck it up and and, and go ahead and get the two piles. Uh-oh, that, that wasn't good. Oh, too late. See, I really screwed up now. Oh, well. So... so now I've got four piles. Crap. Okay, see, this is what I get for not paying attention. Either way, I ended up with four piles, so I really suck. So, but this is, and here's some cards I discarded. And that's the name of the game. Try to get as least piles as possible. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention too much because I'm a camera and I'm really, really nervous. So, that's gravity for you. Thank you.